Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 1D of Fundamental Applied Mathematics. I'm on page 29 and I'm going to do question 5. Now to be honest, this question is almost a carbon copy. Like quite exercise 1D, there was little or no imagination put into, into the questions. So, look, I'm just going to fly through this one. Uh, if I'm moving too quickly, please look at, in particular, question question 3, or was it question 2? I think it was, uh, it was question two. I put a good bit of detail into the questions two and three. So have a look at those in there if you're getting getting stuck. And if, uh, if that doesn't work, look at my theory videos where I went nice and slow. And if that doesn't work, put a comment or just give me an email. So anyway, like I said, I'm going to do this very quickly. So I'm going to assume you, you understand all the stuff I'm going to do now. Define my unit vectors. I'm going to define down here. I'm going to say this is i hat. This is j hat. I have a vector here, A. I have a vector here, B. Like that. And given that the magnitude of A is equal to 12, so this is 12. And given that the magnitude of B, remember line brackets is magnitude is equal to 13 like that, so the magnitude of B is 13, that means the length of that is 13 alright, uh, you're given the tan theta you're given that, can you see this, you can, tan theta is equal to 5 twelfths remember using your Sakatoa you have that tan is opposite over adjacent so tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. In this case we have 5 and 12, so therefore the opposite is 5, the adjacent is 12. So if we resolve the vector b into its, uh, sorry, if we uh, de de decompose the vector b into its uh, component unit vectors, like this, this vector goes that way, this one goes this way, we know that this one is 13 times, 13 times we'll say sine, I'm going to call this what, theta? 13 times the sine theta, this one here is 13 times the cosine of theta. That one there is 13 cos theta. And, uh, and we know that is equal to 12, is it? Let me have a look again. Opposite over adjacent 12, and this is equal to 5. Like that. So uh, it says find A and B in terms of i hat and j hat so uh, let's just find a and b in terms of i hat and j hat well look at a a is how what dimension is a in well a is just the x dimension therefore it is just in the i hat direction does it have any uh, does it in, uh, require any information in the j hat direction or the y axis the answer is no so its component would be 0 or its j component would be 0 j so you could just write that tw a is equal to 12 i hat, like that. You could write it just like this. Oh, sorry about that, you couldn't see it. It's got 0 j, therefore a is equal to 12 i hat. It's just got a magnitude of 12, and it's in the i hat direction, or the x dimension. Similarly, we know that, uh, we know that, we know that what? We know that the vector b is equal to, remember the, the remember the, uh, quadrants, we have them as follows, you've seen this plenty of times in that stage, we're in this quadrant here, so we have plus in the y, and we have minus in the x, so therefore this one is, uh, this one is what, Th minus 13 times the sine of theta, plus, oh, the cosine, excuse me, I'm looking at the wrong one, plus sine uh, 13, <laughs> sorry about this now, 13 times the sine of theta. We also know that this here is equal to 12. So this is i hat uh, minus 12 i hat plus 5 j hat. That's b. Like that. So find a and b in terms of i and j. Let's see if that's correct. So it's 12i hat and minus 12i plus 5j, that's exactly what we have. And the next question is to uh, find the magnitude of a plus b. Well look, we've done this plenty of times, so we're just going to go a plus b 
Well, we add all the i's and we add all the j's, so it's what? It's equal to the following. It's equal to minus 12 i hat. Wrong. I'll do that. I'll do that better. Minus 12 plus 12 i hat plus 5 plus 0 j hat. Right? And well, that's clearly equal to 0, so it's just 5 j hat. Like that, and we're going to call that the vector a plus the vector b. Alright, so let's check to see if that's correct. And it is, and that's how you do that question there. Hope uh, I hope that makes things slightly easier. Um, please subscribe, pass this video on to your friends. Thanks for watching.